Okay, so tonight we're trying out the homestead turkey and chicken recipe. This is a dried food. First impression, just looking at the bag, I like that it answers a lot of your questions right here on the front. So it says, you know, raised without antibiotics. It gives you a little bit of a map as to where this is sourced from. So it's just very transparent. It also says for all breeds and life stages, even dogs over 70 pounds. So again, just answers a lot of the questions that you might have just looking at a dog food on the shelf right at the very front of the bag. So checking out the details on the side of the bag here, it starts with a feeding guide, which is very easy to understand. Our dogs are around 65, 70 pounds, both of them. So we're gonna do three cups a day. We're gonna do a cup and a half in the morning, cup and a half in the afternoon. Then you go down here and it gives you the breakdown of what they're gonna get from this food. So it looks like this is high in protein and low in fat which is again, good for our dogs because they're a little bit older and they're pretty lazy. So they definitely need something that's a little bit leaner. I also like the breakdown of the vitamins here. I know this is really important for older dogs, again, kind of like ours for, you know, vision, bone health, things like that. Then going down to the ingredients, again, I like that they don't try to make this super small and difficult to read. It's very, very transparent, easy to understand. Turkey, chicken, white fish, potatoes, chickpeas, lentils, peas, coconut oil. This is all very, very basic ingredients, which makes me feel really good just that this is very pure. So looking at the back of the bag here, again, they're just continuing to be very transparent, which I appreciate. Some of the call outs here, it says high in protein and fresh turkey and chicken. I like that because, you know, your dog might prefer turkey, chicken, not like one or the other. So it's nice that this kind of has a combination of both, not really super strong in either of the flavors, but they can get the protein sources and the benefits of both of these things. It says no grain, corn, wheat, or soy. Some other calls that I like are no artificial flavors or preservatives and no poultry or meat byproducts. One thing about the food itself that I like, again, it's a pretty standard dry food, but I don't know if you can tell here, the kibble size is very small, which is great for my oldest dog. She's about 11 and she doesn't have great teeth. So she's pretty sensitive to dried food. So I feel like this will be a really, really good size for her. And we'll be able to tell that by how quickly she scarves it down. So let's see if they like it. Is that good? You like it? Josie, do you like it? Good? Was that good? Gracie. Gracie. Was it good? We're checking out the other bowls to see if there's leftovers. <laughs> 